So in the last week, Twitch has opened a new category, finally, on the platform, and that's the co-working and studying category. And as well, they've opened the new, the, uh, new creator club for co-working streamers, which I got accepted to, which makes me feel things. Uh, if you've been following the channel for any amount of time or any of my socials, I generally play a lot of cozy games and indie stuff. But uh, as I work from home in game dev as a assistant producer working on various games that I can't talk about yet, uh, during the week, during my weekdays when I'm working and not in meetings, it gets a little quiet in the house when the kids are gone to school. My wife's at work and her job. So, you know, I, I started doing the occasional co-working streams and, uh, now here I am in a Twitch creator club for co-working, which means more co-working streams. What are co-working streams? You might ask. That was really, really tacky. Basically, as you can see behind me the new category lots of streamers doing the co-working thing or the studying thing depending on what they're doing uh it's basically just a, a social base for people who work from home or study from home or are studying wherever they happen to be or working for that matter and uh just a shared space where you know we can keep each other motivated and accountable and uh you know do task sharing like you know i've got these tasks you've got those tasks Here's some timers. Let's focus on our work and listen to some nice lo-fi and, you know, hang out and get stuff done. Uh, I found for me personally that the co-working streams have, uh, well, kept me motivated to work because, you know, I'm engaged and working. And at the same time with the occasional, you know, chats that pop up, it's engaging the ADHD lizard brain so that while I'm working, I can talk and, you know, hang out with people at the same time so i'm i'm getting that that social engagement that my brain craves while at the same time i'm motivated to get my work done whether it's documentation game design stuff checking on statuses of tickets doing emails or you know in the when i'm not at work but i'm working on personal projects like posting up news on angel syndicate or working on my personal game design document it, it just motivates me to get things done and there's all kinds of uh, productivity tools that people use and productivity bots. I, I probably should get one at some point, but for the moment I'm using Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions because it looks cute and it works and it fits the cozy vibe of the channel. And I try to make my co-working streams cozy, whatever that means. I still don't quite, I mean, you know, we're comfy, we're com comfortable and, you know, cozy with some nice fresh coffee or hot chocolate or tea or whatever it is and just working through the work day it, it it's nice and it's nice that twitch is catering to this with their you know creator clubs there's the irl the coding and the co-working one uh and djing uh vtubers are coming and some other ones i believe in the future art or something i can't quite remember but it, it's nice having that that social space within twitch that while it may not get heavily promoted like guilds do or you know different things like that it's still a nice space to be able to connect with other co-working streamers and you know share ideas on how to you know improve the the quality of our co-working content whether it's uh, bots that work or uh different dmca free playlists or you know productivity programs or just people who are like-minded that you can vibe with when maybe you don't want to do a co-working stream that day, but you hang out with another co-working streamer who you happen to uh, enjoy their content. And it's just, it's nice that Twitch is building social spaces for specific kinds of content that, you know, that aren't obviously gaming, but still gaming adjacent, especially with coding and software development, or, you know, in co-working for me, working on games, it still connects me with other people who are working on games, whether it's, you know, designers or artists or even QA and testers and things. So, you know, it's nice to see. It's nice to feel that there's some acceptance because for, for the longest time, co-working streamers were doing just chatting or IRL. It's nice having that category that, you know, hey, we're over here doing our thing. 
and it's great. Uh, do I expect to see a rise in co-working streams? Absolutely. Is it... Does it help discoverability? Probably not, and that's okay. Because in my mind, whether I'm working alone with stream on and there might be one or two viewers, or if you know I happen to get 10, 20, 30 or more as we go through this process of building regular co-working streams during my afternoons, it's gonna keep me, you know, motivated and engaged with work. And Keep me accountable when there are times when I just don't feel like doing anything. And, you know, at the same time, it relieves that stress of making content. Like, if maybe I don't get to stream in the evening after work to play one of the indie games we're focused on or an RPG I'm enjoying or whatever it is, I know I still got a stream done because I did the co-working stream, maybe some clips came out of it. So there's content for TikTok and YouTube shorts, or, you know, maybe I'll, if OBS decides to be nice, maybe I'll multi-stream the co-working streams on here on YouTube and on Twitch. I don't know. Uh, either way, it's an interesting time on Twitch when so many things are doing wrong, but then they get a couple of things right every now and then. And I think this category is a big step because it's, it's a, it's a nice form of content that's low impact, but can be engaging and people seem to like it and are, start, are gravitating towards it. So, you know, uh, come by and check out the co-working stream. Usually around 1 p.m. EST on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays is what I'm aiming for. Wednesdays are full of meetings, so those never fly. But anyway, it, it's, it's nice being included in a group in an area of interest that I have outside of gaming, but gaming related. So, you know, I, I think more Twitch creator clubs are going to be interesting because they provide not just a community and networking opportunities, but just skill sharing and Twitch's approval that, Hey, your content is valuable, whatever kind it is. So I hope they expand those and I hope they expand guilds and you know, maybe Twitch is finally coming back around to the idea that community matters and they aren't going to get anywhere without the community. Does that mean they're, the problems are going to go away? Probably not. But it's a step. After 50 steps back, one or two forward, I'll take it for now. Because <laughs> YouTube's not making any. Anyway, thanks for watching me talk about uh, co-working. And, uh, if you're digging the category or you're going to start dabbling in it yourself, put it in the comments. Otherwise, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. I'm trying to get to a thousand. You know, we've got the first level partner. We got to get to the second level and uh, have a productive day.